Welcome back, anglers. I'm the Survival This, and we return to Russian Fishing 4. I've gotten a lot of great feedback and comments coming in from last weekend and talking about, like, all I want to try going in bit by bit for uh, Russian Fishing 4, how I'm tackling things. So one thing that I want to start off with checking is going to be going for the hardware store. Uh, I'm trying to remember. Is it Backspace, by the way? Yeah, just so I don't have the rod and the line flailing everywhere. So I was talking about how I wanted to try out what bottom fishing would be like, and for that, it's not here. I, maybe it's this... Yeah, this one has to be here, the actual, like, tackle store. I need to look for what you guys call a feeder kit. I'm just looking to see... Okay, here's all the kits. So... Ah, uh, feeder fishing start. Okay, I think this is it right here, what you guys kind of told me. And it does have a number of things to it. It has rod, reel, line, uh, sinker, hook, and twin bells. But yeah, it's going to be 149 silver, so it's going to take a while to save up for. So it is something that is going to probably take a number of weekends for me to reach and get to. But at least you guys were pretty good, and this was the feedback of the big thing to look at picking up. So I'll be saving all my money up for that. And I also just want to check and see what the new orders are for the cafe, because, again, they should have cycled through something new. At the end of uh, Sunday's episode last weekend, I mentioned, like, I wasn't sure if it'd be a mistake to keep the fish or sell it. Apparently, after 24 hours passes real time, all your fish are probably going to die in the keep net, so it's a good idea maybe just to sell them when they're alive, even if they do sell automatically. So we do have a number of things here. Uh, the perch we can probably do. The roach... Oh, the mass might not be too easy to hit. Yeah, it might be a little difficult for some of these, but we can still try our best and see. And I'm going to actually also check the rods I'm using, or like my setup. Because like, one that I was told to take a better look at is the stats on the telestick. So I think this is the stats up here. Yeah, see, I kind of wish they were a little bit bigger than just that there, but it's a slow action. It's able to, I guess, do 5 to 35 grams. Is that really all the stats on it? Is there somewhere else to it? Because, like... Oh, okay, hang on. Rig selection. Choose a rig according to the type of raw and fishing condition. Okay, so if you wanted certain setups... Oh, okay, this is interesting. Okay, and let me read up on this one. Basic bottom fishing. Basic bottom fishing rig is one in which weights attached to the main line has a knot or treble swivel. Universal for use in still water and currents. The rig is low sensitivity but fast auto hooking. Okay, I'm going to just worry about, like, fixed float here. That's even locked, so I can't use that. But yeah, we'll do fixed float. Uh, it looks like we have everything we want there. Yeah, need the ability there. It was a little debated back and forth in the comments about, like, if I should use a leader or not. Uh, let me try and remember. Yeah, that's inventory. I'm try okay. Okay, hang on. Let me get a little bit of a hang on everything. Okay, let me see. Okay, so that's what's in hand right now. I'm trying to remember how I, like... I'm able to assign everything in that. Because, again, the controls are a little... all over the place. But I think this is kind of what I want to do. And I got a lot of comments about, like, going, looking on YouTube and stuff for hotspots and that. I figure what I should probably do... Again, I still want to try to keep this myself, but I've barely gone around the... Like, entire perimeter of the lake. So I think what I'm going to do is take us up around, just try on this side for a little while. And then, as I was talking about, like, trying to figure out the depth of the map, or, like, water, it's all displayed right here. I don't know if that's meters, or, like, what the unit of measurement is for them. So that's going to be a little tricky to find out, but I'm guessing it might be mean meters. Okay, well, let me just quickly... Okay, there's quick help, so I just want to see... Okay, no... Yeah, B is that, I'm just... Okay, U, that's it. 
Yeah, we'll move things around like that. Okay, that was what I was looking for. And let me put that away. Okay, getting things in order and moving along. So yeah, let me... Uh, you know what? Maybe I'll stop in for the food first. Just, I see in the bottom left there. It might not hurt to get that free meal and get our... Everything full. Yeah, so I think that'll just passively go up because we stopped there. Oh, yeah, there's this entire lake I have not really even used much of or around it. So I'm going to try changing up and trying a few different spots. But bait-wise, I also want to switch up because I think I've only really used like the first three. So let's go to... Uh, we'll try the Pearl Barley. I'm just trying to remember... Let me just do a quick double check for this setup, because this is supposed to be... Yeah, this is for float. I was just checking to see how I changed the depth again. Is that... Uh, do, do, do. Oh, here we go. It is num plus and num minus. Yeah, it's, this area is... Okay, it's about one meter, so maybe the 90 wouldn't be too bad for it. Oh, no, actually, it did make it into the water. Okay, I wasn't sure. From the looks of it, it was just going to be hanging in the air there. I'll right, we'll just try around a few different areas on the lake, actually see more of it, because I have just been kind of staying around the one little spot. So that's probably why we had a number of the same fish there. So we'll see if we can get any other different species as we go around to some other places. And again, it's going to just be a very slow series going at it little bit by bit. I think it's much better approaching it that way with all the information that's bombarding me, like, for the episodes. Yeah, come on. Let's see what we got. No, a little roach, I think. <laughs> Gotta bring you slowly up and in. Ah, uh, actually not... Uh, it's, I think, a bit below for what the one mission was, where it's like, they need to be 300 grams each, but it's at least something. And one thing I do want to try doing a little more. Yeah, so it does go down closer to... Ah. Uh, I'm guessing two meters out over here. So yeah, let's try from this little spot right here for a bit. There are the boats. I think because you do have to rent them, it will cost a bit of the silver or your currency. So I'll try avoiding that for now. Uh, maybe we'll just try a little bit over here. Actually, it might be possible with that spot. It's so shallow that that's why the float there looks a bit odd. Oh, but you can rearrange it a little bit like that. wonder what happened. No, yeah, you can actually pull it right around to wherever you kind of want it to go. That's a neat little feature. And something I don't think the angler really did much at all with is... Actually, I... You might have been able to tug the float around a little bit, and I just maybe have never even tried in that one. Yeah, we'll just give it some time with it tugged out to there and see. I'm just going to start and see if I can catch all this. Um, probably need a bit of different gear, and again, the bottom fishing will help a bit. But I just figure, let's try and get the majority of the species we can for this area before I do move on to the next area, the Winding River. Where that one is supposed to be better for spin fishing than Mosquito Lake has been. It might be possible. You know, I'm going to try casting it out again just to, like, some proper water. Well, some deeper area. Yeah, just gotta wait and see if anything will go for it here. I think the reason why I stuck mostly around the shops in that was to just try to get my bearings with everything around us and then quickly get the pattern of like what I need to look for for which area. 
Like, I'm hoping we don't have to make too many replacement stops in at the shops for any gear we might lose or that, but... You never know, too. And then I know there have been comments about you can use multiple rods for multiple times of fishing, like float fishing, you can have two or three on the go. I, again, I don't want to go too quickly into things, I want to take it slow and carefully. Because I'm fairly sure as I make mistakes, there's going to be an onslaught of people going, no, that's wrong, why are you doing that? I mean, I've already had a little bit in the comments about that. About, like... People have an exact way you should be tackling it and doing it, and if not, they're going to let you know about it. Yeah, not too much action from this spot. I'll give it a little bit longer and see if any activity does strike it, and if not, we'll keep moving down. It could be possible, too. I do have it set too, uh, too deep into the water beyond the float. I think that's kind of just how the start of the game is, is you're going to have to experiment and try a lot of what your base gear is without spending stuff. Just trying to learn for yourself and go through each little bit slowly and surely. Now let me bring you in, and I'm just going to see if maybe I bring it up a bit, that'll help us. Let's try it 80, and let's try maybe out over this way. Let's see if we can get anything interested to go after it. It could be that this is, uh, bait is only going to work for certain species, too. So this is the first time we've been trying to use the pearl barley, I think it is? Yeah, I think that's the bait that we got on right now. There we go. Getting dragged around a little bit. Now we want to go for... There we go. The sharp pull is the one to watch for. Oh, you're something we haven't had for a little bit. Crucian Carp. Actually, I should... I think I'm going to keep you. And I want to head right to the cafe, because that might be one of the better orders. Or, like, one of the orders that we saw there. I also do just want to check in inventory. Okay, no, so all the rods are at the top. I, I just wanted to go into more and see about, like, the information to them. Here it is. Okay, yeah, so you get the type, the sensitivity, the action, the stiffness, the power, the test, the length. You get all the information you could want there with it. And you know what, this one... Okay, so that one I actually could put the leader on. I, I didn't think you'd be able to, but I guess maybe for spinning you can. I'm not going to use this one really on this map. But at least I kind of have that rod put together now. Yeah, so there's the info there. Uh, 0 out of 10, 0 out of 10. It's a medium power with a load capacity of 4. This one is a load capacity of 3.8. Test is 2 to 30. And test is 5 to 35. So it does have a few options. A few settings that are... 
quite a bit better. Actually, you know what? I'll take the cart back at the end of this episode. And let me try going a little further along here. Just roam around a bit. As much as I would like to see how the bait harvesting goes and stuff like that, I think, again, it's going to be far better to get more of the basics with uh, the fishing down and getting a feel for how it all plays out. I should also try to catch maybe aim for two to three fish per spot I go to. Just see how quickly the fish strike and kind of see if I can discover the hot spot as they're called on my own. I'm in no rush to try to get us, like, to show new stuff off too quickly. I'm more so just wanting to make sure I can get a feel for how the game plays and how it flows along. And also keep it so that way there can be some enjoyment to it for, like, watching a new person trying to go through it a bit on their own with some guidance. I don't want to min-max or try to go for huge profits or whatever. I just want to try to take my time with it and see how it feels. Getting more time with the float fishing in that. I feel like Call of the Wild, the angler, it was a little more engaging for some of the fishing aspects. Like, did the moon just blink? I swear, the, I think the moon did just blink away for a second there, but the reason why I say it was a little more engaging is, like, here when I'm pulling in these uh, float rods... There's not really much of a fight or thing there. But then again, there's like no... At least I don't think there's a reel on this. I mean, it certainly doesn't look like it would have. No, oh, too quick. But at least I do know there is something around here. So let's just toss that out again. But it kind of... Called Wild the Angler had that more arcade style. I think it is a good way to view it as, just like how Call of the Wild, the Hunter, felt more arcadey to the Hunter Classic, that's how the Angler is. It's more arcade fisher, where you might not be looking for realism, but you might just be looking for casual fishing game, where it's not going to, again, involve quite as much time to possibly getting gear stuff. But then that also will translate to it might feel more shallow and you'll lose your interest than something kind of like how Russian Fishing 4 is. Where you might feel you are getting better, the gear's increasing. You kind of feel like there's this curve you want to stick with through for longer. And like, perspective right now, I have to lean... The only aspect of Call of the Wild the Angler that I think is done a bit better than Russian Fishing 4 is just the tutorial does give you more concise information about itself. Russian Fishing 4 definitely had a lot it could have done so much more and in detail with in its tutorial, and I think that is one of the aspects that really needs to be looked upon. Because I could see a lot of people trying out the tutorial, and then, like, say, trying to go to Mosquito Lake, and... There's a lot they don't really know, and it feels overwhelming that it could just be like a... I was just looking for a fishing game. I wasn't looking for encyclopedia with a fishing game. So I think that's something where it could be a bit better to try to ease completely new players into the game with. Go into better detail with, like, say... Ah, uh, for spin fishing, teaching you about the friction break and that, for the reel and that, giving you a little bit more in-depth. Nope. Okay, I'm gonna... I was gonna say, like, the float came up... Yeah, there's some interesting activity going on with it. It looked like the fish actually brought it up to the surface a bit, and then... Okay, what is going on with you? Actually, I guess one thing I... Because the hooking is more, like, automatic... Yeah, like... I 
I don't know if I should just try bringing it in when it has to float up, or... Hmm. I'm not sure what... <laughs> I think this is the first time I've run into this kind of behavior, but... The thing is, it's still bobbing, so the fish is still interested in it. But again, it's weird to see it going like this, in a way. And, like, it's... I keep feeling like I have to wait until it spikes down before I pull in. But I'm just... Oh, I'm so torn right now on what I should do with this. Hmm. Well, the one nice thing is you can... Ooh, there we go. Okay, it is on. Although I do gotta be careful, because, like, looking at the tension... There we go. Come on in. What do we got here? Our first bream. Actually, quite a fair... Well, I guess I shouldn't really say if it's a fair size or not, because I have no idea of the sizing, but it is one of the larger fish we've caught so far. We'll keep you, toss this out again, and see if we can get anything else, but... But that, that that's another nice thing, is the float fishing, it isn't how it was, where it's just like the angler, it's always steady, it just goes down. There's different behavior from the fish. That bream, for instance, it almost like was taking our bait and coming to the surface to turn the float on its side. Or there's different things you need to watch out for and try to mine for the behavior of the float. Basically, called while the angler skims the surface of fishing games, Russian Fishing 4 goes into the deep end with them. And it's just about trying to figure out the best way to tackle or approach it, given... Again, it, you can go pretty deep, pretty quick. But maybe what I'll do is I'll try to get another fish or two. Oh, one of the things is I want to turn to talk to you guys, but I also have to mind watching the float. <laughs> but I was going to say, I'll probably hold on to all the fish I've got, and at the end of next episode, we'll bring everything to the cafe and see what I can sell off. It is possible missions might cycle out in the time that I am doing the recording. I'll just have to see how it goes as we keep fishing along. Uh, well, just give it time and wait and see. Although it is possible, and I might not be getting anything else from that cast. Yeah, it might be a good idea to move along. How are we doing time-wise? I'll give it another few seconds, maybe to, like, the next minute I'm watching on the capture software, and then we'll move to another spot. Just keep trying along. I know one thing I should try doing is also try closer to vegetation. I just think, though, for that, I have to try to figure out the depth setting properly. Maybe bringing it closer to the surface would work. You know, talking about it and not having anything, I'm going to bring this in, I'm going to try that. Okay, let's say bring it way up to... Maybe try that in right over here. I don't really have much more... Well, unless I wanted to go stepping in the water. But let's try right by here. Mm, 
And it does seem like this bait, the pearl barley, is getting us more species that we've not, or I've not caught yet in the series. Like the bream, the carp. This might be better for, like, more of those bottom feeding species and slowly kind of learning what ones you want, what ones you get with what options you picked. There we go. Okay, but you're not done yet. Yeah, no. Didn't think so. Okay, dragging it along, but I'm waiting for... Like that sharp tug down, although... That's pulling the spot that's harder to see what's going on. There. Oh, shoot. I was too early with it. I'll try one more cast and see. Maybe see if I can try to get it a... Yeah, try to bring it a little bit out so that way I can see what's going on with it through the... Weeds... Weeds, reeds, whatever you want to call them, a little easier. Through the greens. We'll just say through the greens. And let's give it a little time and s Oh, there we go. Just as I was about to adjust. Yeah, it's pulling it along, but that seems too slow and gradual for it. There we go. Once it's pulled right down, you know. And another carp. Yeah, another Crucian carp. Okay, maybe we'll try for one more fish and try out that way again. Let's see if we can get anything else interesting in this spot, and then we'll probably keep going along the shore a little ways more. Probably also try the other new bait we unlocked, the... Oh, actually... Uh, we'll see what species this is. This might not be a bad spot if it is another carp. I just can't remember what the, like, requirement for them was in the cafe. It might even be, because I am just working on getting anything right now. Just go get a whole mess of fish and then bring everything back and see if we can get lucky with any of the missions, or the orders, I should say. Yeah, see, that's gradually going along. That, I don't feel... I feel if we tried to pull... That's what we're looking for. Oh, hello. Another carp, although quite a bit smaller, this one. Yeah, that hits so quick. God, it's one of the ones, just one more cast. I think that's a good sign of a good fishing game, is you just want to keep going for one more cast, even after you've landed something. Now try one more here, then next episode we'll switch our bait and switch position to keep going along the lake shore and see where else we can try at. But I'm not actually sure how many species there are, like per area. I mean, the cafe is probably a good spot to get an idea of some of the orders. Because we did see... Uh, well, it actually had an order for the frog, which I'm surprised at, and of course I caught it last weekend when there wasn't an order or anything, but we'll just go about, see what happens as we kind of just learn and explore a bit more. There we go. Okay, we just gotta wait for that. Take it right under. Oh, it's like they play around with it a little bit as you see it like slowly working through the water. Well, actually, I think I... Yeah, I still had the flashlight on. I don't need that with how 
with daylight here. Come on, let's see what happens. I feel like I'm getting tricked here. Like, nothing's happening, it's not really bobbing or anything, but from the little bit of activity that was on there, I feel like I should just wait a bit longer and see if anything else happens to it. And I think patience may pay off. Come on, just give it a good bite. Yeah, see, it's actually lifting up above the water a little bit. Nope. we got on is pretty picky about wanting to like really go at it either that or I missed my chance although so far the game has been pretty good where it it hasn't really been like I've ever brought it in and the bait's just been gone off the hook so I don't know if a fish I feel like it has to be possible that if you do miss your chance for like bringing a fish in they can just take the bait and be gone But again, I'm just like stuck in this spot of, do I keep giving it a little more time because of like what we saw before? Or do I just pull in and see? I think I'm going to have to pull in just because it managed to push us towards like the end of episode time. Yeah, I'm going to pull in. I don't... Yeah, nothing on there. Uh, I can't tell if our bait is still there or not. But what we'll do is we'll leave this episode of Russian Fishing 4 right here and start into next episode in just a moment here, as I say, like the outros and everything. So thank you all very much for joining me on this episode of Russian Fishing 4. If you did enjoy the video, you should give a like. And if you have any comments, tips, or tricks, you should in the comments right down below. Until I do see you in the next video or episode, anglers and survivors, please remember, as always, to take care, stay alive, and happy angling.